Welcome to the legendary staple cards that have been forgotten. These are the forgotten legendary cards. It used to be like every single Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Um, and uh, this is a top 10 over here, but I have a bunch of honorable mentions and I wanted to mention why some of these aren't in the top 10. Um, and I kind of want to just talk about just cards in general, but uh, anyways. So, I didn't want to include a bunch of cards that were eroded or if they're actually on the ban list because, I mean, we would be playing Heavy Star, Monster, Born Podigree, Graceful Charity, but as legendary as these cards are, they're not forgotten because uh, we, uh, you know, can't play them at all. They're forgotten because they're actually on the ban list. Now, Sinister Serpent, yay, my boy's gotten changed, alright, and uh, the game has evolved, and also... Lightning Vortex is pretty much not in the game because we've got cards like Dark Hole and Raigeki legal in the game. Uh, but the Nova Mana Cross that used to be so, so mad. I wanted to put it in the top 10, but it wasn't in every deck and it, it, it phased out a lot earlier, I would say, than these other cards that are on the top 10. But these are like honorable mentions before we get into like our top 10, but Nova Mana Cross was at one at one point. Everyone used to play like, you know, set one pass. But who sets a card in 2016? What are you playing? Those <laughs> those flip-flop uh, crawler worms? Nobody plays that deck. If the deck becomes good, nah, no woman. Dude, that would just eat that deck up instantly. Um, some of these cards, again, guys that got eroded. Breaker, I really wanted to put him over on the list, but uh, he phased out earlier than a lot of these other cards. Um, and I know Sakuretsu kind of got phased out, but a lot of these cards, guys, they did get eroded. Thunder King, though, he used to be in a lot of decks. I wanted to give him an honorable mention uh, for this list. And then uh, we got the Exiton Knight. Uh, the card's phased out again because it's a uh, man. Scapegoat, uh, some of you guys did mention this, uh, but the thing one that I, I feel like Scapegoat offers, because it's not that forgotten, because it's still played right now due to Link Summons. Uh, Pot of Duality, um, I don't, I mean, it was a really, really expensive card. It was like $150. Uh, everyone played Pot of Duality. It didn't matter what deck you were playing, didn't matter. But uh, the thing is, is, the game has kind of evolved. And that's why a lot of these legendary cards just went away. Uh, DD Warrior, this card was at one at one point. Smashing Round at one at one point. Enemy Controller, just an overall fantastic card. But the game has definitely evolved. But uh, yeah, I remember when a lot of these were uh, super, super uh, popular. But I wanted to make this like a top 10 list. But I also kind of, again, wanted to go over some other cards. But for like the the, the regular cards here, uh, Mirror Forks, it's still a legendary card to me, but it's pretty much forgotten due to the other Mirror Forks. We have Quaking, Storming, uh, Drowning, all these other Force cards. They're really good. Um, and it's just because destroying is not the most in thing because uh, destroying a lot of cards are like, you know, you get the immunity destruction and stuff like that. Spirit Reaper, a classic stall card, but you can't really stall that well in Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Sakuretsu, classic, you attack into me, your monster's gone. Um, and then uh, also Call of the Haunted. This card used to be in every deck, this card was at one. It used to be the Call of the Haunted ban, Monster Reborn come back. It went back and forth, Call of the Haunted at one. It kept on swapping. Um, Gorse. Uh, I remember every deck played Gores. It was like, oh, dude, you're about to get OTK'd. Before Ghost Ash, before we had Valor, before Maxi. Oh, boy, Gores was the hand trap that would save you from losing. And it prevented FTKs. It was just a really great card. Um, because, well, there was there was a build a long time ago. For those of you guys who didn't play, uh, there was some burn variants. They would actually burn themselves, too. And you were able to Gores, and then they couldn't burn themselves because they would actually gain themselves. Self-destruct. There's a lot of other things that... Uh, this card can actually uh, stop. Uh, specifically, cards that change integers on life points uh, that uh, offset the difference amount. Uh, this card could, could definitely help out. Bottomless. I remember when this card, everyone played two bottomless. And then they put it to one, and then everyone's like, wait, why are we playing bottomless? Uh, this card was even seen some played back when pendulums were alive, but this card has been completely phased out of the game. It's because every trap card has to be spell speed 3, otherwise, cards that come out as soon as the monster hits the field it's gonna negate something it's gonna do something and it's just gotten too slow but come on, i don't even know why these cards are at one i i honestly i don't think if if this card is at three would people be like i'm gonna play three bottomless i don't think so man but uh book moon uh just one of those classic utility engine cards and it's at one some people still play it but i want to still say it's a legendary forgotten card because it still holds a place in many players heart but, uh, Fiendish Chain, oh, yo, yo, we, we add in cards? Fiendish Chain, uh, uh, Fien oh, gosh, if I type in Fiendish, we're gonna get too many cards. But Fiendish Chain, uh, yo, I, I'll, I'll give it an honorable mention. It did see tons and tons of play. But uh, the problem, again, goes back to the same reason why we're not playing, like, most of these cards anyways. Um, 
they just kind of got a little bit too slow in the game. Um, next up, Sangan. I want to I want to put him over here um, because no one's playing Sangan uh, because his effect is too slow. We need fast effects these days. Otherwise, like the card has to get its effect when it's summoned. Otherwise, it ain't gonna get its effect. If it has to be destroyed and sent to the graveyard, or has to go from the field to the graveyard, this one doesn't let you add it uh, until later on, and that's the biggest problem with Mr. Sangan over here. But, um, Torrential Tribute, every deck played Torrential. This was a card so many people were afraid to run into. And I still feel like the card it has a little bit of viability. I mean, honestly, with the whole Link era, I was expecting to see more people to play Torrential Tribute. But again, the same problem arises. It's just too slow of a card. Heck, a lot of people are still playing My Body as a Shield. Um... My Body Shield is still just a fantastic card, but it doesn't stop any of the Counter Trap cards, and that's kind of the main reason. Well, I mean, could you guys imagine if My Body Shield stopped Solemn Strike, Solemn Warning? Would be amazing. But, um, yeah, I, I still think Torrential Tribute, it's not the, the worst idea to try, because if they go for the Link Summon, right? You just, at the moment, there's not a Link monster that's going to get like an, an insane effect as soon as it comes out. It's usually like a stepping stone for other cards, but... Torrential Tribute could still be pretty good. I want to say Torrential Tribute has some potential. I mean, you guys in my chat, since we're doing this live, you guys can let me know what you think of the uh, card. Uh, Torrential is good in dinos. I just think it's overall still a decent card. Um, next up, a Mystical Space Typhoon. I had to put this one at number one. A Mystical Space Typhoon, oh boy, used to be in every deck. I don't care what deck you play. This card was at one. Usually it was like, we had MST and Heavy Storm. That was like our back row destruction. Sometimes Giant Tornado goes on and off the list. But every single format, it was MST, MST, MST. But Galaxy Cyclone, Twin Twisters, MST is, is by far one of the most forgotten legendary cards. I have not seen MST in, in like months in any deck. It used to still see some play inside decks, but now it's all Twin Twisters, all Galaxy Cyclones, because the game has evolved. This is one of the most iconic cards, hence the meme MST negates, man. But we can't forget some of the cards in the extra deck. And this, I would still consider the top 10 because Synchros, they're not as legendary, I would say, as some of like the original cards. And I'm talking original as in like that before we had the, the Synchros, essentially. Uh, the, these will always hold a special place in my personal like Yu-Gi-Oh! legendary forgotten cards. But I know that the, a lot of the Synchros, they also gotten forgotten too. Um, I, I was thinking about making a separate video for this, but I felt like we, we don't have a top 10 here. We got seven. Uh, over here. However, oh, Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, get, okay, yes, Cosmic Cyclone is the card I was thinking. That, that's a quick play, right? Okay, Cosmic. It, it's still, it's, okay, Cosmic Cyclone, the, the pay a thousand banish one. Okay, but yeah, okay, that's what I meant, not Galaxy. Galaxy also saw some play, but MSC is just outclassed. It's, it's just, that's pretty much the, the end of it. But, um, anyways, uh, Colossal Fighter in every extra deck. Uh, this card, when do people play with multiple Colossal Fighters? Uh, not necessarily because it was so good you play three Colossal Fighter. It's because it was a structure deck card. And every time you looked at some some kid's extra deck, it was always, well, they'd have like one starter dragon that was probably damaged. And then they would have like three Colossal Fighters. Not that they would ever summon them, but they just, they wanted Synchros, and he was a cheap Synchro, he was good too, like he was legit, he just got phased out, Thought Ruler Archfiend kind of got phased out a little bit uh, as well, but Colossal Fighter, I want to say he's more legendary because everybody and their mom had three copies in the extra deck, if you didn't have extra, <laughs> extra deck cards, it was Colossal Fighter, uh, the Iron Chain Dragon, and like the like other like turbo warrior like synchro cards that uh, no no one really the junk junk warrior all right that's th those are the cards man um crimson blader was pretty good too but th th the card i felt like it was too short of a duration to be considered like a legendary card but uh anyways Sardis dragon who played Sardis dragon in 2017 not nobody that i play dude i have not seen this card in so long heck some of the well I mean, Power Tool, it is used technically in some of these, like, crazy FTK kind of decks. But, like, Starter's Dragon, Black Rose Dragon, oops, well, Black Rose Dragon teleported away. It blew itself up already. But it was like, I'm not on the list. All right, anyways, Black Rose Dragon, it was there a second ago. I don't know what happened, all right? I actually, I think I right-clicked. But anyways, Black Rose Dragon, I remember every day I played Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose Starter's Colossal Fighter and Catastrophe. These were all super staples for Synchros. We're talking legendary cards over here, man. And then, uh, God Cowboy, a newer card, but I still think it's it's pretty legendary. Because how many times did you guys win or lose to our boy Cowboy? I mean, 
He, he's legendary. He's got to be on the list, man. He's got to be on the list. I still play him in most of my rank 4 decks, but because of Lynx, nobody's got room for, like, these two guys. Yeah, 101 even. Um, it, it just, there, there's no room in the extra deck. Konami, make, make us have 20 in the extra deck. That's a topic for another day, though. But I, I definitely believe that uh, Silent Honor Arc is still a great card, but it's just we don't got room. And same with Cowboy. Uh, another legendary card, Goyo Guardian. Why did they make it require an Earth Tuner? Like, why did they, for no reason, guys, if you guys didn't know, um, Goyo Guardian uh, originally did not require an Earth Tuner. And it was actually in a tin. I remember the Goyo Guardian tins. Uh, in some places, they were selling the, the, the tin uh, for most uh, of you guys. Uh, that live in the U.S. I, I'm pretty sure tens are twenty dollars, right? I remember the Goyo tin. It was like twenty-five, thirty dollars. They legit charged more just for Goyo Guardian. But the thing is, the Goyo Guardian just alone was worth like fifteen bucks. So like, it kind of made sense. Like, it, but like people were milking the card. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely, definitely think Goyo Guardian is a legendary card. And for no reason, like like years later down the line, they unbanned it, and it was like, oh, by the way. Goyo Guardian is also now, we're making it so it requires an Earth Tuner. Like, what? You First off, we didn't care about it anyways. It was phased out, and then they, like, for no reason, nerfed it. But Goyo Guardian, it, dude, the legendary Snatch Your Stardust Dragon, um, it, it was it was good, man. Like, it was just, it was easier to make than uh, some of these other cards, and it would Snatch Steel cards. Uh, but uh, going into the future, I don't know what you can use the card for, like a Link Summon. I don't know, it would be kind of cool. But overall, I think things have just become outclassed. But uh, these are guys, some legendary, legendary uh, forgotten cards that, uh, you know, people just might have forgot of. Uh, I mean, heck, I forgot, I totally forgot uh, about Colossal Fighter. And I remember it, I played three of these because I, I didn't, a long time ago, I couldn't afford like the full on extra deck with some of the more expensive cards. And uh, Colossal Fighter, he was there, man. He was my boy. Uh, but uh, anyways, these are some of the more legendary cards that are not on the ban list. But if you guys felt like I missed on any and you're watching this right now on YouTube, let me know what other legendary cards that we've forgotten that were just like really, really, really ingrained in like every deck. Phoenix Chain is one of the newer cards, but I feel like this is a pretty good top 10. Specifically, MST has to be at one though, dude. I just remember so many times people would be afraid of Torrential Tribute, and now <laughs> in the Torrential Tribute don't see any, these cards just don't see any play, guys. And that was the point of this is to you know give a shout out uh to some of these amazing cards that gave us a, a, just some of these good memories in the game when you activate a torrential when your opponent summoned five it was so good or like you would summon your own monster torrential and blow up the board and it was a saying and then you search out a saying and then you go off dude these cards are so so memorable man definitely but uh, anyways Hopefully you guys that are watching this on YouTube enjoyed it, this top 10 list. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more Fidget Spinner Top 10 videos.